It's a story that is as old as music, okay? Four friends get together. They share their musical talents. They form a band. They play their local communities. They develop a sound. And unlike a lot of those musical stories, this band actually has a YouTube account. So they're able to share their music with the world. It's up and coming Saturday. And our next stop, Copenhagen, Denmark. We're going to check out the new one from Swan Mill. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all the social media posts. Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel and the merchandise store. We do appreciate all of you. Swan Mill. They're from Copenhagen, Ding, Ding, Ding Mark. Wow. Wow. Made it all the way through the intro and then fuck that hard. <laughs> Copenhagen, Denmark. Okay. Local band on the Copenhagen scene. Um, their style is kind of an amalgamation of everything you've heard. They can do modern tones, they can do the growling, they can do the singing, going all the way back to late 80s, early 90s rock feel. They can do a little bit of everything. Um, just four guys, musically talented, cutting their chops on the Copenhagen music scene, and they released a new video called Breathe. We did their last one, their first one. That one was really, really good. It was just them singing, on the corner of a building, kind of Empire Records style, and I kind of fell in love with them. So when they released this new one, I said, it's definitely going to be on an up-and-coming Saturday. Please check them out. Go to their Instagram. Follow them there. See what they have coming along. You can download their music. Um, let's give them a shot, right? The name of the song is Breathe. Let's enjoy this together. That's clean right there. This song has taken like three or four shifts. And again, similar to our last song we just did, this one's shifting around. 
and I'm really digging it. Okay, so um, you can definitely hear that yellow card, some 41, SoCal 2000s feel to it. Very young and youthful. The shout outs, you know, like Trapped and different bands like that from the 2000s. You can definitely hear that. However, the growling, the change up for that chorus, there's definitely a modern feel to it, like it's unique. They have no problem shifting from one gear to the other, which means musically, they're, they're solid musicians that they can make these cuts. Um, I would love to hear a band like this live because so many times on, on bands where they do this style, it doesn't translate as good uh, from album to live. Um, but one thing that you know from a lot of these musicians and bands from Europe lately is that live is where they really shine. So I would love to see this style, um, which is designed to be on an album, right? Uh, when you look at bands like Sum 41 and stuff, some of their best stuff live is when they play their heavy metal but their album stuff doesn't translate as good live because it's so loud. Uh, so you don't get that nuance, that feeling. I would love to see a band like this play it live, but know that in the European genres, the musicianship live is spot on and you're going to just get the whole feel. Yeah, this is definitely a band to check out. Um, <laughs> I'm I've been telling a lot of people lately, I don't know what it is about Europe, but Europe is having this musical renaissance right now where bands are creating new styles. You have these bands that are metalcore, but they're not traditional metalcore. They're calling themselves modern metalcore or new wave metalcore, where they incorporate different musical styles and they fit them into metalcore. So you have a lot of these young bands that will take different stylings from grunge, new metal, um metal core dark metal black metal um traditional metal incorporate them into this metal core and they can change it on a dime bands like torrential rain uh our 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 mirage you know you've got it right um there's so many different uh, orbit culture and, and there are a few bands here in the united states that are also doing it astriction in texas lucid awakening in oklahoma Vintercy in, in oregon and so on and on where you have these bands who are also very creative and they're not sticking to any genre style. They can literally just play at will and be creative. And it's a wonderful time because with YouTube, we can see it all. There's nothing holding them back, which I love. But let's finish this out. Swan Mill. Look, double titles again. I don't know what it is. I, I put the band's logo above the video to make sure that I show their brand. I'm trying to get the band's image out there to try to help them out. And then they go off and put the logo at the end of the video. And now I have a <sighs> double logo. <laughs> Out of smart, I would have pulled the black and white one off the end of the video and put it up there. But eh, we'll go. It works. So that's Swan Mill. Just four friends. I mean, that's, that's what bands should be, right? Just four friends hanging out, playing some music. Or five friends. Or three friends. Pin spawn if you're a Rush fan. But anyway, um, so check them out. Uh, they're on Instagram. They're on Spotify. Check out their music. My name is Old School Nerd. And that's the end of uh, Up and Coming Saturday for this week.
There is no stream on Twitch for me after this. I'm actually helping out a friend at a local uh, event because he needs a hand. So Chelsea and I are going out to help him. So instead of coming to my Twitch channel, do me a favor. Go over to twitch.tv slash tank the tech. He'll be starting up right after this video is done around one o'clock. He'll be doing kind of a new band up and coming feel to it. He does it on Saturday too. And normally about this time, I'd be wrapping up my live stream. We'd be rating him anyway. So go hang out with Tank for a while. You, he's doing some good stuff. Trust me on this one. All right, guys. Swan Mill. Nice. Really good. <sighs> Just wish there was a local band where I live that was sounding like any of these bands that I've been reacting to in this last year. There's just not. The closest one that I've heard near me is all the way out in, in Austin. So, and there's a few of them in Austin. So if, if you're a local band in Louisiana, Houston, Austin, Dallas, and you're trying to get out there, let me know. Definitely love to check you out. All right, guys, I'm going to work. See you guys later. Hey.